Okay, so this is the, uh, I'm using a Weathermaker 8000 here. Um, most of the models are pretty similar though. Has all these items in a blower up top. Anyway, it's gonna be near the burners. You find the burners, they're kind of looking like, like little jet engines or something like that. That's where the uh, gaskets lit and hit, heated up. And somewhere near there, you're gonna see the igniter. Um, this one's kind of hard to see. I probably can't even focus on there. Um, it looks like a little, it's like a little, uh, like a filament, like you'd see like in the middle of your light bulb. And this one again is really bad to, bad to see. Let's see if I can find it for you. It's right up in there. See that little black thing sticking out. Right up there, a black thing. Anyway, that is then attached to a little assembly. You can usually see that on the blower, or on the uh, burner assembly here. So right there, there's a screw, and it's just holding in this little igniter assembly. So all we're gonna do to take that out is just unlatch that, unscrew that screw, take out the little assembly, okay? My screw, needs a little socket on it. So I'm just gonna do that right now. Unscrew that, that's gonna come out. All right, so I'm just gonna be unscrewing mine. It's already kind of loose because I had it in there loosely. that until you can get it out. Don't lose your screw. And this kind of comes out like a whole piece. Try to be careful with the igniter on the end if it's a working one. That's another one. So that comes off there. You're gonna unplug this. Another furnace I had, this plug went all the way into like the control board. So that's gonna be a much bigger pain to take out. Um, but this one has the connectors. So we're gonna undo the connectors. Now this is the bad igniter. It's a little hard to see, but there's a, uh, right like there. There's a little chip. I think you can see it better this way. There's a little break in that second, right there in that second one. Just a tiny little thing, but that was enough to um, to have it not ignite. So you're gonna take out that bad one. You're gonna get a new replacement part. If you can find the same one. I'm lucky and I have two uh, I have two of the same furnace that has the same one. There's no, um, nothing broken on there. It still looks a little bit rough, but nothing broken on there, okay? So as we took that out, we're gonna do the same thing. And put that assembly in. The same way it came out. Slide that metal pole up in there. Slide that metal bracket in there, and then you're just going to replace the same screw that we already had in there. I'm going to put that same screw to mount that bracket back in. I'm not going to show you. Now this is what a good igniter looks like. No cracks or brakes or scuffs or anything like that. Okay, on this good igniter, another thing to do is, you can, if you have a multimeter, you can plug something on here. And on mine, I saw which terminals it was. This was the ground on top and the hot on the bottom. 
Um, I'm not trying to diagnose anything specific. I have a pretty bad multimeter here, but you know it has one for an open. And when I touch these, hard to do holding a phone. Touch these ones together. You should get some kind of reading here, something, something different. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to diagnose it, and I have a bad, pretty bad quality multimeter. So if I put these two together, see how it's kind of flashing now, negative one. So it's getting some kind of signal or some kind of resistance measurement. Um, and that's all I'm trying to do. Again, I was measuring ohms. It's measuring ohms here. So if you have that, it's just an extra check you can do. Um, it's, again, I'm not trying to diagnose the level of the ohms and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't even trust this multimeter anyway. Um, but when I do that same thing on a bad, on the one that has a, uh, a chip on it, then it just stays in the open. It doesn't give any kind of signal. So just another little test you can do as well if you don't have an easy... Uh, working igniter to test.